Another Eagle Moss model, courtesy of Mass Replicas, this time is the USS Discovery A. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, another Eagle Moss Hero Collector model and magazine review. This time it's also courtesy of Master Replicas as well who actually got all the stock and they're reselling these for us all to keep and collect. This time it's the Discovery but it's not from the Discovery set, it's the Universe set. This is number, and I have just literally lost it, um, number 11 out of the set of the Universe set and if anybody says this is the Discovery set, the Universe set was part Picard, part Universe. Part Universe, part Discovery. So yeah, end of story. So we have the normal um, artwork on these. This is good. This is old stock anyway, so this is good. So, um, yeah, we'll get into this straight away. It was sealed. I hate the seal, so I'll take these out, them off for you. And uh, the box just lips wrong underneath there. That's it. Done. And somebody mentioned I was about to rip the box. Ooh, we have a magazine this time. I missed a change, so let's get into that and zoom you in because you want to see the model. We all want to see the model. So, here's the Discovery, it's a 30 second century refit. It was, I think it was the one where they found the Federation, took a three week refit, which then from the original one, kind of upgraded a lot of the internal systems and then the external main parts with a detached nacelles, which apparently in the future, that's what you need to do. So, yeah, why is that upside down? That's not upside down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it looks a bit weird that. So detaches, attaches it on there, so it looks like one whole stand inside there. Attaches to the bank that the original one did, and then the detaching cells just sit on there. There's probably other ways of doing this. I thought these were separate little clips. All right, well, we'll find out in a bit then, shall we? I'll actually do that. Captain was Saru and Michael Burnham. So we have there, we've got these weird vents on the bottom here that were cut into it, the big holes at the back. I don't think the original Discovery had those openness, open uh, pylons. Yeah. I mean, it is an upgrade. It is interesting that they just basically gave the entire ship a full makeover instead of scrapping it because it's ancient. I mean, yeah, the Discovery ship was based on one of the pilots for the Enterprise. Oh, yeah, the... Um, the, the, the Planet of the Titans ship that was supposed to be a film, but they never actually did it, did anything with the Phase Two, so it could have been the refit Enterprise. So that, yeah, nice, nice enough ship. A lot of blue on this now, so they've actually properly upgraded the thing, which was interesting. So that's spore drive on there. That's how they flew around. Yeah, I don't think that will have any. Oh, early concept of, oh, it's just a saucer section with something around the back. Saucer section with that, so it got rid of the entire secondary hull. That's kind of weird. And then, ooh, that would have been fun. Ah, that's all the white stuff all over it. That's, that'd be really interesting. I mean, some nice sleek designs on very close to what we actually got. So, front sections, but yeah, I like them. I'm not entirely keen on these, it kind of, shortens the ship quite a lot. But then again, some of the ships in the future, the Discovery one from Series 4, are a little bit odd. Oh, look at that. They took most of the um, secondary um, uh, primary hull off. Weird. That's interesting, the Funky. That'd have been interesting to animate. Very interesting to do a model of that as well. I mean, with it being, um, yeah, a little bit over the top. I do like that. Very more sleeker design. Instead of the panelling. And then what we have is what we have. So there. So, as with everything with all of these, goes up to the last page, I am missing the um, the Voyager J. I think that is the Armstrong. And that wasn't actually officially... It was officially announced. I think there is actually... Yeah, because I've added onto Memory Alpha the picture of that actual model, not just the, the, the dubbed over bit. But there is one out there. So it might be coming soon to Master Replicas. They're the people that are selling all the, de uh, the Edel Moss stock. So big up to those guys for doing what they are doing. Granted, a few of the pieces are, are extraordinarily awkward to get hold of, but also a lot of them are extremely rare. So, okay, we have in there, we've got to the stand. So, ah, that's a very low one. 276A slash A. So I'm not going to put that on because I don't like doing that, but is it with one section on here? 
Well, that's not. I'll just get the model out. Because that goes on there. And I think these go... somehow like that. And then in the cell... Where did it go? I'd say between those, there's little markings there into there. Okay. Eh. So, it's self assembly ship again. Great. I do like a ship you can build yourself. So, it doesn't go that way, it goes that way. Okay. That, that's actually a lot better than I thought. Yeah, they got the dispatched. That's, there's, there's other ones that have been part of the stand, and I really, really didn't like that. But I'm, I'm not a massive fan of this Discovery, but I'm also not a hater either. It's fine, it's good, and I'm glad I got the Discovery A, because it's a, it's very, very, very similar. Although, this has got one gaping part that actually isn't part of the ship, is the, sh the shuttle bay. That's, yeah, quite weird. I might leave those on for this, for this video, to be honest. There's a big plate at the bottom, which I think might be plastic. I think the top bit here is die cast. The rest of it isn't. This top bit is, right, you watch this. It's very, very flexible. So careful when you're putting this on and, and displaying it, if you get one. These were literally, these were this particular model. They did a um, flash drop, which they're doing every Wednesday or so, when they get the um, the models that aren't as wanted as what we, what we all they're all like stock, just general stock, and they sell them for a little bit cheaper, they say. But this was a extra from this, the, oh, what do you call it now? A sale. It was either, because they're, they're clamping down on, on bots, and they're clamping down on people properly scumming up the bloody, um, yeah, the sales are all these, putting these on eBay and stuff like that. It, it's, it's atrocious, to be honest, some of it. But yeah, this was one of the cancelled orders that I managed to get hold of because I missed this first time and second time round. So we had the Discovery A there. It's very blended in as far as I can see with the camera. So some a lot of really nice design work on the on the Discovery bridge section there. It's very strange to get in, but yeah, I suppose you could get off your ass and run round. There's a windowed section here that they use as a as a racing track, a run track for the cadets. Coming down to the secondary hull, very, very angular, triangled, weird, but yeah, I don't think they could have put electronic bits between the the, the secondary hull and the nacelle. It's it's a good idea. You could probably do something yourself with that. Maybe put some I don't know some sort of plastic between it, and then maybe do a. Uh, some sort of paint effect because it's like a blue electrical effect between it holding it all together I mean, it does make it easy in case you get a um, problem with the ship and have to detach the nacelle hence the Star Trek Beyond when it got uh, chopped up for pieces and on the bottom side of the ship now yeah because you could just like oops it is it fell off and then you could just fly next to it and reattach so it, it makes a bit of sense on some reason, but other reasons, no. Navigation of the Flex at the front there, not as defined as what you'd, you'd see. There is XLs out for these. I am not collecting the XLs, if anyone wants to ask that. I can't see. See, that just looks upside down to me. It would, would be the other way around, kind of. I can't really see it either. Can I zoom in a bit better? There we go. Yeah, looks a little bit, yeah. But it is tiny. So, underneath the bridge section, I mean, this is really zoomed in. This is properly. I'll put my um, one of my dodgy thumbs over that. That shows you the size wise. So, yeah, it is small. But as on sort of display size, you've got these lovely. Yeah, it would be better if they were lit or plastic side by side. They're just painted. Because there's a lot of lighting on this ship. Yeah, big vents down here. Yeah, I quite like this. For an upgrade on a ship, it's not as good as the um, Enterprise to the refit constitution, but um, yeah, it's it's what they did, and I think Edelmoss did a really good job of attempting to try and get this done. See there, if, if they, they might have done the original that as potentially it would connect, but it looks like it would go all the way around it, or maybe you can snip the cells would go into. Instead of just clipping on the side, it's a good idea. I can see already there may be um, strain marks on on this 
actual plastic bit here. But it does fit rather well. It looks quite nice. On the display, maybe not. But in actual, you can probably get your angle right on it. It looks like the normal Discovery. But still, you could probably paint these a little bit blue and hope for the best on something else. But yeah, pretty good. Pretty good shape. Quite like it, to be honest. And I didn't fully think I would, but yeah, the Discovery Series 5, which is the final one, is coming out next year. They've delayed it and delayed it, and they've obviously decided not to continue with Series 6 or 7 or whatever else. Which is, you know, it's a shame, but we've, we've kind of gone through a story with Discovery, and they're in the future, and let's see what happens with them. So, that makes a squeaky noise. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Consider being a Patreon with a regular donation. Consider donating something. I have got a um, couple of ships coming in from a guy on Twitter. He's a Starship collector. Who's um, giving me some of his cast-offs for the um, for 3D printing of some ships. And to be honest, that's fine for me. Because I'm quite happy with that. Because I can make something of it. If it's really bad, it's been printed. I could fill in, I could repaint, I can re-decal. It's, it's not a problem. Them. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it says you've got the, it says the, the Titan A and the Enterprise J. Now, in continual, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, normal bloody whatever, canon, it is the same ship. If it's the uh, Enterprise J that was meant to be, I'm looking forward to that. If it's just the same, if there's two of the um, Titan A and the, the, the Neo Constitution ones, yeah, okay, fine. But anybody wants to donate something to the channel, I'm more than willing to do a video and do a thanks and put you on the uh, scroll at the end of the video, which is coming up in a couple of seconds. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.